fun video for today, fam. We're gonna be taking this little six speed here, and it's not just gonna be fun for me to get to use the stick and haul something, but it's gonna be fun for you because we're gonna be hauling a tractor, and we have never hauled a tractor, let alone with any of our trucks here, and this is gonna be a fun little video. Now, I don't know how much video I'm gonna be able to get towing, but we're gonna see. Hopefully we can get some uh, decent footage for you guys, but I don't really uh, have a great way to film this. I have my camera set up on there right now on that chair, the passenger seat, but other than that, um, that's about all the camera angle I can get for you while driving. And I don't know if it'll stay there or not, so we'll see. So we're gonna get the fourth gen out of the way here, get that six speed hooked up to the 20 foot car hauler and uh, see if we can get you guys some video today. This is crazy and it was kind of unexpected but we're giving away this white truck. Yeah, this 2018 6.7 Cummins with a whopping 11,000 miles on it and a tire pressure sensor going off since I've owned it because we put aftermarket wheels and tires on it we didn't put sensors in. But yeah, so we've got this truck up for grabs right now, and this is just crazy. So every $5 is 20 entries towards winning this truck, but I believe that deal is only here for one week and then it's gone. If you want 20X entries and you want to win a 2018 Cummins with only 11,000 miles on it and $5,000 cash to go with it, this is how easy it is to enter to win. Go to lnpgear.com, grab a hoodie, grab a hat, grab a shirt, grab anything you want off the store. It automatically gets you entries towards winning this truck plus five grand. And this giveaway is only gonna be here for a little under four weeks. So you might not wanna wait around. You might wanna grab your entries, but yeah. Let me show you one more time around this truck real quick, just so you can fall in love with it a little bit more, but go check out the website, get entered while you can. This thing is awesome. So of course you've got all the basic features here that everybody needs and wants. You've got, you know, 100% DEF at all times. You've got tow haul, hill descent, exhaust braking, four wheel drive, of course, all that jazz. This thing's just awesome. You've got a really nice spacious back seat. Super, super clean interior. I mean, we got it all cleaned out. I mean, it's, it's really, really clean. We just did a quick vacuum. Um, of course, it's a 2018. Drug doesn't have any rust on it. Drug's got brand new Toyo 35 by 1250s. It's got a 2018 Longhorn grill on it, fifth gen style headlights. Just a freaking stud, stud truck. I, I, I really can't believe we're giving this thing away because I swore I was going to keep it for a while, but, you know. I got the six-speed, and I was telling my wife, I'm like, you know, I like I love the crew cab. I really do. It pains me to do it, but I just love the stick more, and I feel like at some point here when the baby's in the picture, we're going to get rid of the stick here pretty soon after that, and then we're going to replace it with another crew cab, maybe like a... F450 Limited. Another Limited 3500, a Denali, I don't know, but we're probably gonna replace it with another new crew cab. But for now, I'm gonna rock in the six speed. I'm gonna drive that and just enjoy it because I just, I've always wanted one of those new six speeds. I just never found one. I happened to accidentally find that truck and I was like, what the heck? Might as well drive it since I found it and get a little use out of it. But yeah, thank you guys so much to everybody who entered to win this truck. Cannot wait to have a winner drawn. Usually the winner drawing process takes approximately seven to 14 days between getting the entries tallied up, winner drawn, contacted, and awarding a prize. You know, so just bear with us, give us a little bit of time, give us some grace. It takes a lot of work to get all that stuff rounded up and all done. But one of you are gonna be taking home this truck plus $5,000 cash, 55,000 miles, 1989, four wheel drive, five speed, first gen, thing is a freaking it's awesome it's a sweet truck and this truck is just as cool in a totally different way because of course this is a louder than normal 2018 six seven cummins and uh it could be yours plus five grand so don't waste any time get in it so we're gonna get this all hooked up get the trailer hooked up grab some straps and get on down the road
going to get video here by myself, but I'm going to see if I can't prop it up somewhere and make it happen. That's about as good as I can get her. Actually doesn't squat that truck at all. I mean this tractor I mean, this tractor ain't near as heavy as the trucks we were hauling, you know, that pickup truck and the one we were hauling yesterday, or that first shin we hauled, it doesn't squat the truck really at all. It might sit at level, but that's about it. So we're gonna get this all strapped down and hit the road. All loaded up, ready to go. Show you guys how I got her strapped. I don't know how you guys strapped them, but I'm only taking this about five miles. But what I did was I took them, ran it over the axle, and then I put it basically on this spot on the other side to kind of chuck the tire in the front and the back. They did the same thing across over the other axle, I mean, other side of the axle. And basically made an X right there in the center that kind of chucks the tires on both sides and keeps it tight down to the trailer. And then over the back, I just threw one over this hitch component here, this big arm that comes out of there, the three point hitch and strap that down across. We're not going far. Ordinarily I do four straps. We're only going five miles and we're only going about 35, 40 miles an hour all the way back on this little back road. So anyways, guys, here it is. I'll load it up. Let me show you an angle from the back side there. So you can see from a different perspective of what this looks like loaded down. Not too bad, just a little load. This is the third thing I've hauled with this trailer today. It's gonna seem like it was a couple days since I filmed the last video, but I got my videos all edited up and done early. So I'm like, you know what, I got time. Let's go film another video so I can get a little bit ahead for you guys. I thought, well, mom wants her gardens tilled up for Mother's Day. So I told her I would do that for her and haul the tractor over and get that done. Now, ordinarily, I always start off in second year, but not with the trailer, I guess. Comment down below, do you like seeing videos like this even though there's not a ton going on and it's really just gear shifting and stuff or do you not? Let me know. nothing for this truck this little tractor we got the tractor all unloaded and uh went pretty smooth but got a couple things we're gonna do that i wish i could get on video but it's actually starting to rain it really would rather not ruin my camera so you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to bear with me but we're gonna be tilling up a i was gonna say food plot but it's not it's kind of a food plot but not really um a garden between that chicken barn and this chicken coop right here in that area. Mom wants one put in right there. We're gonna grab some horse manure back there, spread it over this once we get one tilled and till it down in again. We're gonna be tilling up this small garden as well. Gotta get it done before the rain starts coming down hard because that's gonna make it a mud pit right now. It's not that bad. It's a little bit soft, but it's not too much for a smaller tractor like this. So I'm gonna get to putting the work in and I'll show you once I get this all done. We're all loaded up already. I'll show you what I did. Pretty self-explanatory. There's actually a lot more work that went into it than I realized it was gonna be. I was actually here for probably an hour and a half. But essentially what we had here was this whole garden was fenced in and my brother actually took down all the boards, him and a buddy. And it got kind of overgrown this past couple years. I went through here and took the bucket of the tractor and ripped out a bunch of fence posts that had concrete around the base, a bunch of roots and small trees like this that were in the middle of the garden that kind of 
were in the way, stuff like that. And then uh, took four buckets of old horse manure that's been drying for you know a while now and dumped that over it, spread it out, and then just tilled it all under three times over, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. And then I did the same thing with the one over here. Basically all I did was took three buckets of manure, kind of spread one out over here, did another one right there, another one right there, and then just kind of tilled it all together. And uh, it turned out pretty good. Looks pretty clean. I actually went across the edge of here and raked a bunch of the dirt and that kind of got out into the grass. And there's some tire marks, of course, because tractor does spin the tires a little bit here and there. And make some marks but not too bad it didn't tear anything up too bad kind of smash the grass but I mean that's gonna happen no matter what time of year it is or how dry or how wet that was supposed to be her Mother's Day gift Mother's Day is right around the corner here I will get you guys back here tomorrow to pick up and continue on with this vlog so next day we're back quick little project for the 6 b today we've got a tail light install I want to do and this isn't gonna be your typical tail light install that we normally do which is just like you know an aftermarket set that we found that we just slapped on the truck. Thought it might make it look aesthetically better, um, which it does in some situations like this truck. I feel like these tail lights fit this build really nicely. The gray kind of matches the gray stickers and some other little things. I don't know, it just looks good to me. But for this set, it's gonna be a little bit more of a twist that we don't do a lot of, but I think you guys are gonna like. It's more OEM, but not OEM for this truck, but it's gonna make this truck look absolutely awesome. <laughs> So let's get to this tail light swap. Now you're probably wondering what I'm talking about with the tail lights if I'm saying it's aftermarket for this truck, but it's actually a OEM Mopar product. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So here they are. They're actually OEM 2018 Ram 1500 sport edition tail lights now i think you can get these on the 25 and 3500s you get like the the sport appearance package where everything comes out you know blacked out headlights and stuff like that this is a tail light setup that i wanted to go with on the truck just because i felt like it would do the truck proper justice of being like the vibe i told you i wanted to go with like with the interior i want everything to look like the leather i want it to look like a 2019 leather interior like the stitching and the way it is and all that stuff but i don't want it to be something crazy i want it to look like this truck came from the factory as a completely loaded out like limited regular cab even though you couldn't get that like a limited regular cab with a stick since you can't get one of those i wanted this truck to like have that vibe but be in a regular cab six speed i actually got this from a kit that i saw on youtube there's a guy he was uh what was his name it was a uh, retro shop or something you can just google retroshop.com i believe sends you the oem mopar tail lights and then he sends with it his conversion bracket, which by the way, I did the math and it makes sense to buy the kit from him versus trying to buy the taillights from like Amazon or something and then just buying his little wiring setup because the taillights, they will try to sell them to you individually, 250 bucks. And so like you're on there, you're like looking at these tails, like, oh, no, that's not bad, 250 bucks for a set. No, 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 not for a set. That's for like a left or a right hand taillight. And then you have to go buy the 100, $150 conversion kit if you want to use those taillights that you spent $500 on if you were to buy them pretty much anywhere else. So you might as well just buy them from him. I think they're 600 bucks for the tail lights, which is left and right, along with the conversion bracket stuff. Pretty much supposed to be plug and play for the most part. So we're gonna get to taking these out. I think we need to grab a uh, T25. We're gonna get these tail lights pulled out and get these new ones dropped in. Now this is supposed to be really plug and play. We'll see, we'll find out. <laughs> Pretty sure it was that easy. Two minutes, maybe. I just realized I was showing you guys the not pretty side the whole time. So here it is. Check that out. That's pretty freaking sweet. So you got that tail light, and you got that tail light. And let me see if I can turn these on so you can actually see the difference. So you can see these are on now, and they look good. It just looks good. I mean, it, it, they look like what they're supposed to, which is. The sport tail light. Then you got your traditional tail light there, just your incandescent tail light. How do you like your tail lights, babe? Look good. Look better than these ones. Here's the here's the ones that came off. 
And yes, we are going to take the fenders off, the fender flare thingies. There's been a lot of people asking, are you taking them off? Yes, we are going to take them off. <laughs> All that sticky, you can see all the pieces, all the sticky adhesive that was all over the truck. It's not, I'm not completely done. There's still a real, real faint line where you can see where the fender flare was. I gotta rub that down a little bit harder to get that off. But other than that, you get the gist of what it's gonna look like. It's not gonna have the flares on it anymore. So the backs are coming off. Of course, the other front's coming off. Those are all gonna be off. New custom grill coming in. Super excited, gotta go pick that up actually today. So, oh man, I'm stoked. Reveal for the front end that I'm gonna be doing in the next upload that you're gonna see. It's gonna be freaking sick. Stay tuned for that, it's gonna be baller. One last announcement and reminder, if you wanna enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, all you have to do is go to lnpgear.com and every $5 for the first week only is 20X entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. Only 11,000 miles on it. Super fun, reliable daily driver. And if you do a lot of driving or if you just wanna look good driving, this is the truck for you. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned though. New videos go up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the channel. So set your notifications and don't miss any of the future content. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.